Welcome back, my name's Steve and thank you for joining me on my photography journey today. In our last Lightroom tutorial, we looked at some of the basics of the layout, where to find things, how to import a picture and to start editing. Now we're going to, need to look at something that will come in useful, whether you've been using Lightroom Classic for years or whether you're new to it and that's keyboard shortcuts. So I'm going to run through some of them. Some I use more than others. But what I want to do is make sure that I cover everything so that you can pick your own favourites. If there's anything that I miss, just leave a comment below to say what ones you use and how you use it. And then we all learn something new then as well. One thing to remember is that I am using Lightroom Classic for one thing, and also that I'm using a Mac. So you may need a bit of translation if you're using Windows computer. Generally speaking, command is uh, control and the other one is option is alt on a windows computer everything else is roughly the same um, so just bear that in mind when you're looking at these and what i'll do is pop chapter markers down below to make sure that you can easily skip around if you need to and find what's interesting for you so the first thing that i'm going to look at is moving between the different modules we looked at these so library develop and so on and how to get between them when you're using Lightroom. So let's jump into it. So we're in the develop module at the moment, so we want to go back to library. So the keyboard shortcut to get back to the library is command, option, and one. And that takes us to the library. And it's as simple as that, so command, option, two, takes us to develop, command, option, and three, takes us to map, command, option, four, takes us to book, command, option, five, takes us to slideshow, command, option, six, print, and yes, you guessed it, command, option, seven, takes us to the web. So those are your simple shortcuts for moving between the different modules in Lightroom Classic. So now that we're back into our library view, we can look at some of the different ways that we can change the view of what we're looking at in here. So whether you're looking at the whole library, whether you're looking at one picture, comparing them and things like that. So the shortcut to look at the loop view is E. So that brings up your single picture in the library view so you can see it in more detail. You can see a clearer picture of it. Pressing G goes back to the grid. If you want to compare two pictures, you just press C. And then you can see on the left hand side, you've got the selected one and then a candidate on the right hand side. And then you've got options at the bottom for either picking or rejecting those photos and also a cross on the right hand side of each picture to deselect that photo so that you're not having that one in your compare view. So we'll go for G back to our main view. And then if we select a number of pictures, then we can press N to enter survey mode, which is similar to compare, but with more options. So you can look at the different pictures that you've taken, maybe of the same view, but with different exposures. And then you can choose ones that you want to keep or not keep. As usual, you've got the pick or reject options, as well as giving them star ratings and then getting rid of them from this compare view. And then again, G to go back to the main library view. So let's select a picture that we want to edit next. So let's choose this one and then we'll press D to take us into the develop module. And that takes that one picture from the library into the develop module so that you can do your editing on it. Next up, some of the panels that you've got might be a bit distracting from what you're trying to look at. So if you press L, that goes into lights out mode. So the first time you press it, you get this kind of grayed out, well, blacked out um, version so that it stands out a lot more. If you press it again, it goes completely black, except for the picture with a slight white border around it. And pressing L again brings you back to the normal view. Press shift and L, 
it does it in the other direction. So you can just go between the two different views if you want to, uh, backwards and forwards, rather than having to go through all three of them at once. Now that may not be enough. You may want to see your picture slightly bigger and get a bit more information on it. So press F and that gives it to you in full screen. F again takes you back to the normal view. As well as that completely full screen viewing mode, we've also got the option to view everything in full screen. What we can do is use the full extent of our monitor by pressing Command, Shift and F, and that enters full screen mode. So this is slightly different in that you can still use your panels at the side. So on the right hand side, you have got your controls for all of your editing. On the left hand side, you've got all of your presets. And at the bottom, you still have your other pictures so that you can look through those as well and select a different one maybe. Pressing Command, Shift and F again takes you back into the normal mode. As you can see at the moment, we don't have any information about what this photo is on the screen. So you can sometimes get it up here. How do you do that? If you press the I button, it comes up with the information. There's different options as to how much information that you show. So as you can see, this one's got the name of the picture, when it was taken and the size of it. If you press I again, it gives you more information about the actual camera settings when this picture was taken. So this was at 100th of a second at f6.3 ISO 100 with my 200 millimeter, well, my 24 to 200 millimeter lens at 200 millimeters. Again, pressing I will get rid of that so that you can either see it or not see it depending on what you want. Let's just have a look for a picture that has got some horizon in it. So here's another picture and we want to check that everything is straight in the picture. So how can we do that? If we press command, option and O, that gives us our overlay. You can then press command and drag from the center there to move it around. So you've got a vertical reference line and a horizontal reference line. So we can use that to check. So the edge of chair there is looking relatively straight actually and you can use your vertical line for things as well and use that as a reference point from there you'll be able to in your develop module again you can show that in here as well and you can use those lines to help you with rotating the image if you want to line up your horizon or you just need some straight lines in there it's an easy way to do that so at the moment you can see that I don't have any information on these pictures in the grid view. So you've just got this bit up in the corner to tell you that there's a smart preview. But other than that, there's no other information. Command Shift and X gives you that information. So you can see the size of the picture, when it was taken. You've got the option of flagging it. You've got your star ratings and you also have the option to rotate the picture in either direction if you want to. The other thing you'll notice on here is these two icons down here. The first one is just saying that there's coordinates for this picture, so it's on the map view. And then the second one is just showing that there's been some adjustments in the develop module to this picture. When you've got a picture in the develop module, you can zoom in and out. If you want to zoom to 100%, command, option and zero, will zoom to 100%. If you want to zoom in or out, then command minus will zoom out. Command plus will zoom in and yes, command option zero will go to 100%. One other thing that's quite useful for zooming is up on the top left hand corner here, you've got fit 100% and whatever your previous zoom level was. So to be honest, I mainly just use fit and 100% up here to zoom in and out. But again, command and minus or command and plus are the ways that I will normally zoom. Command, shift and zero takes you to 100% and then just clicking back up here goes back to fitting into that screen. So that's just a quick look at some of the basic shortcuts in Lightroom Classic. I hope you've learned something from this. 
going through these in this kind of more organized fashion has reminded me of some of them. What we'll do is the next time we do a Lightroom classic tutorial, we'll go into the actual develop module and do some editing. But I just want to get you familiar with the layout and how to use it before we do anything like that. So if you like this, remember to like, always add a comment. Um, like I said, if there's any shortcuts that you use a lot that I've not covered, let me know. Um, and subscribe so that you can see when we do our next tutorial. And all that's left to say is thank you for joining me on my photography journey today. Um, I'll see you again next week. So have a great week and I'll see you then. Bye.